Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm taking a quick look at the Ubuntu Cinnamon Remix. So this isn't an official flavour, though I think it's something they're probably going to aim towards in the future. I've moved the panel to the top just so my face cam doesn't sort of block any of the buttons or sort of app indicators or anything that we're having a look at as we have an overview of the system. So I'm going to just start with having a look at what applications it comes installed with. So you get a nice sort of category view here in your application launcher. So Nemo will be your file manager. Let's keep it going. Pluma is your text editor. Um, games, it comes with 2048 Chess, Mahjong and Sudoku. You get Document Scanner, it comes with GIMP, that's nice. GFarm, LibreOffice, Draw. Um, Thunderbird Manual and Firefox. I'll probably uninstall Thunderbird and install Evolution. Let me just, does it have like the GNOME Online accounts? Yeah, so I'll probably just install Evolution with um, the EWS package so I can have my Office 365 stuff there. That's just a personal preference though. Um, Evolution, uh, Thunderbird is a good email client. Firefox for your web browser, uh, full LibreOffice suite, a true document viewer, GNOME MPV and VLC. I installed OBS myself. Administration, it comes with GPI, HTOP out of the box, software to manage your applications. Let's keep going. Software updater terminal, preferences and yeah so let's just sort of have a little fizzle around and see what the theming is and maybe download some extent oh, what's going on here oh <laughs> and maybe download some extensions for the panel because i like the transparent panel so let's close all of this for now and then let's just open up the, i don't know what the appearance app is called themes okay let's open up themes so the theme is kimo dark kimo dark and the icons are also kimo so let's download some icons and themes ourselves and just get it set up how we like to have our, well, how I like to have it looking. Um, no sh keyboard shortcut for terminal, so let's do that quickly. Keyboard shortcuts, what terminal are we using? Gnome terminal, okay. Um, how do you add a custom shortcut like that? Name. Add and then let's go control alt T. Oh, it's already hang on a minute. Then why wasn't it launching? It is already launching a terminal. Let's try that again. Oh, perhaps I just wasn't pressing it properly. Okay, never mind that. That's my own fault. Let's get rid of this custom shortcut. Then we don't need that now. Right, let's make a couple of folders in our home for our themes. keyboard's in the most inconvenient position for when I do these videos. Ah, oh, they're already there for us, brilliant. Let's have a look at what's in our home directory then. So, let's have a look at the, the icons folders. There's nothing in there yet. And there's nothing in the themes. Okay, cool. I'm just going to grab the um, arc theme and icons. Right, that will grab that and then we'll get these from here. Download. Save. Right, so I'm not too familiar with Cinnamon. I did the um, the Linux Mint video not that long ago and that was probably the most I've used Cinnamon in recent memory. So it's still kind of a learning curve for me, the whole Cinnamon environment, so do bear with me. Would you like to update it now? Yes. So I want the transparent panels. I like the transparent panels. What else do I want here? A pacifier windows. Fade out the current window that the user is... Hmm, let's get that and see what that's like. Windows 7 Alt Tab. Replaces icons with thumbnails and shows previews. That could be useful. Let's have a look at that. Blur. Background in overview. Custom shadows. Um, okay, let's go for that. So that should be in there now. So if I wanted to use it, I'd click the plus, go yes. Yes, so that's the panel just gone transparent. What I want to do though is edit so it's got a bit of shade with it. So semi-transparent and it's dynamic, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, cool. Right, I do believe our arc theme is downloaded now. So if we installed but have we done that as well yeah both are downloaded so let's go and go back into their look package theme package sorry and then let's change everything to arc dark ok 
Kimo will also change to Arc Dark. Icons, we need to do our icons. So let's go into our home folder. That's the show desktop, is it? Yep, that's the show desk, is it? Yep, show desktops. So let's go into our home folder, go to downloads. Here we are. Let's just extract that into our icons folder. Lovely. Right, um, I'm going to look through their wallpapers. I know there was, uh, <laughs> they made me laugh actually on, on Twitter the other day. I think they uh, <laughs> they was asking for wallpapers and I think people got a bit confused and were sending like photos of their actual wallpaper or something. I just had an image of <laughs> loads of people sending them photos of their sort of living room wallpaper and it cracked me up. Right, let's have a look. So let's go into change desktop background and let's also see if our arc icons are ready to be applied now. Icons, arc icons, lovely. Right, um, let's go, nothing in Eduata. So here you have a few. So there's the Ubuntu Cinnamon one. I just want something a bit minimal. It's a bit laggy to select at this at the minute. Hmm. Let's open up HDOP a minute. So it's using two gig RAM. Oh, it's got my Debian swap partition there. Ah, it's loaded something. Yeah, let's just grab this for now and see what that looks like. Nice. It's quite pretty, actually. I like that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove these uh, task buttons and install Plank. Right, let's see how we, so let's go to modify panel. Um, what are we doing here? So can we just remove, how do we remove these? Panel edit mode, and then click on that. Nope, let's remove that desktop a minute and it might let us get there. No, there we go, remove grouped windows list. Brilliant, so now let's open up plank. Oh, I better stop panel edit mode. There we go. I'm going to chuck it to the right. I've been liking it on the right at the moment. Uh, left, sorry. Um, just pop it to the left. Bring it down a bit smaller. Don't like icon zoom. We ain't got any doubles there, have we? Mm, yes, we do. We have a double of Thunderbird. I'm going to uninstall Thunderbird anyway. Right, I'm just going to grab a little theme for that and then we're going to set up some packages. I'm going to use this for a few days and I might sort of do a follow up video of sort of how I found it. So let's just grab the shade plank theme. My go to plank theme. Uh, dot local share plank themes. There we go. So we're going to extract that and then right click on here to get your preferences and then we're going to choose. Oh, no, we're not. It's um, kept the um, sort of file tree. So let's go into that folder and just sort that out. Dot local share plank. Where are you? There you go. So it's um, kept the sort of all of the things there. So we only want shade, paper material, and anti shade. They're the themes. So we're just going to do that and then we just delete that. Right, let's try that again. There we go. So you get a nice shade now and it's sort of it's pretty similar to the shade you've got at the top panel so it, it's a good fit and that's why I always tend to go for that one. Right, let's close that off now. So let's uninstall Evolu uh, Thunderbird and install Evolution. Actually I'm going to do it with their software store. There we go. So here's your software store. We are going to grab Evolution. There it is. We might need to install the Evolution EWS package as well. Hang on, do we have? Yeah, we do. Does it include it already? Hold on. Evolution can integrate smoothly. Duh, 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 duh. Let's see if it's got it automatically, otherwise I'll just install it in the terminal. I'll um, blur out my email address. Let's open up Evolution. Oh no, I'll do it for the online account, sorry. Right, so let's go to Microsoft Exchange. I 
I've noticed to get all the notes and tasks working, you have to add the um, sort of at, you know, the sort of the address. So let's click connect. Hopefully that will work with the tasks, the notes and everything else. Right, so it's saying it's found mail, calendar and contacts. Um, hopefully then if I open up Evolution, it will show everything like calendar and notes and etc. So we're going to open up Evolution. As I say, I'll probably have to blur a few things here. So has it done it yet for us? We might have to install the Evolution EWS package. Yeah, so it's not found it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that account and we're going to start that again. There you go, see it didn't install it, I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place. Right, let's try that again. Okay, hopefully that's um, taken care of that. So let's just make sure that's applied it there. Right, let's do the same thing again, we're going to open up Evolution. There we go. I can see my tasks already coming. So if I go into task set, some tasks, memos, calendar is just syncing now. Brilliant. Cool. So that all works. Let's close that so I don't have to blur too much. Ugh, bye bye. Okay, cool. Um, and obviously through here you can add ev ev every other sort of one you've got here like Google and Nextcloud and etc. And Facebook if you'd want to. Right, so what do we need to install for this video? So we, as I say, I'm going to use it for a few days, so I'm going to need a few applications that I would regularly use. So what do we need? It comes with GIMP already, doesn't it? And I do believe it comes with... No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Right, let's install... Um, no, I'm going to get the app image for Caden Live, so I don't have to pull the Caden Live stuff. Download, where are you? And let's just grab the app image for that. And then we'll just scroll down. We want this one here. Right, I'm just going to download the app image of Caden Live, as I say, so I don't have to download you know, all the dependencies for KD, Caden Live and stuff. So let's have a look at the little plugins here. So you've got your calendar, t date and time here. So if you click that, you can choose your sort of well clocks and etc use 24 hour clock display the date connections audio bluetooth obs is there oh we've got a problem here what's happened sorry blah 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 remember this in future sent okay oh no did it oh no cool it wasn't firefox that's still going brilliant right i'm going to grab telegram oh we've run into it again Okay, it's evolution. Okay, let's um, hmm, I'll send that one again. Um, we'll leave that for the moment. Right, let's empty that as well. Um, I don't want desktop icons, so can we just actually? I will keep them, but I'm just going to move them here. No, I'm not. Why does that not want to move? Let's try that again. Auto arranges on, that's probably why. There we go. Now, if I was to turn that back on, yeah, <laughs> okay. Right, let's just keep it over there, and then there we go. Okay, I think our Caden Live app image is downloaded, so let's open up Nemo. There it is. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to make a new folder called Applications, and I'm just going to paste it in there. I'm going to open terminal here. Does it have? Yes, it does. I'm just going to make that executable. So I don't know if it... Let's have a look. And there we go. So that's just an easier way for me to run Caden Live on distributions like this without having to download a load of extra stuff that I don't really want and then 
after if I wanted to sort of delete this I just delete the file and any desktop file fairly straightforward and nice so I'm just going to sort of go into my keyboard shortcuts now and configure those for how I'm going to use it and then I'm going to wrap up the video but this is actually quite nice I like the sort of idea of cinnamon with an Ubuntu base you know like a true Ubuntu base as well it's um, it's a welcome addition I think let's just have a look what they've got in the preferences as well let's go to general desktop user scaling enable v blank disable compositing disable automatic screen rotation huh. okay all right let's just keep it moving here we go so let's have a look at their system settings and then we'll jump into the keyboard shortcuts from here um, let's we might need to add plank to the auto start so let's go to choose application um, can you search anywhere let's type there you go and we're going to add plank to auto start perfect right let's just set our keyboard shortcuts and then I'm going to do a reboot get a RAM reading and then we'll end the video there where's keyboard da, 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 there it is okay so we want to do windows or workspaces I'm going to want to move for now so what have we got here show the window selection cycle through direct navigation here we are have they got a switch to left or right no Oh, here it is. Switch to left workspace. I'm just going to change. What is their default? Control Alt Left. Nice, quite a smooth, quick transition as well. That um, I'm going to just change it though myself. Nope, don't want to do that. And then I'll do the same for right because I use Control Alt Left to move windows. Um, I'll set that up in here, I guess. Let's have a look into workspace that's it i'm slowly remembering cinnamon stuff as i sort of get reminded of it move window to left workspace and we want that to be control alt left and then that to be control alt right okay let's test that out so let's go control alt left right move bang 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 perfect right what i'm going to do now is just do a very quick reboot i just want to sort of make sure does it come with any backup stuff out of the box don't think so right I'm just gonna do a quick reboot actually before I do that let's check what versions of things we're using what version of LibreOffice does it come with let's not show tips okay let's go to help and about right we're using version 6.3.4.2 yep not too bad that does it have the dictionaries yes it does perfect right I'm gonna do a reboot we'll get a RAM reading and then we'll wrap up the video there let's see what the RAM is now we're at 2.59 okay cool right I'm gonna stop the recording and we'll be back in a moment hello and we're back so I was gonna take a screenshot for you of just htop to show you the RAM at boot but I ran into a bit of an issue there I don't think they've actually got the um, a screenshot package installed and if they do I can't find it so I've searched for screenshot in here and any of the sort of usual ones you think it might be and I'm not coming up with anything and I've tried all you know a different combination of all of these sort of bindings let's just try a different binding here yes let's see if that one will work no so I'm not let's try it with the clipboard again yes so let's do a print screen and see if we can get it over to GIMP no so there's no information on the clipboard to copy which leads me to believe that yeah they haven't got it installed out of the box yet for the screenshot so you might want to install a screenshot application but anyway so I was using about 800 megabyte ram 750 to about 800 i haven't really installed too much extra stuff but that's not too bad going so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i will see you on the next one Bye bye